Hi guys, there is one pharma domain that is completely unexplored and many of the pharma graduates are still unaware which pays the high salary in the pharma industry. Yes, I am talking about clinical programming which is also called as statistical programming or SAS programming. If you are a pharma graduate and if you have good skills in maths and statistics, this is the segment that you need to be. The segment is growing rapidly and more importantly, the salary is very high. Until there is a need of clinical trials, there is need of a clinical programming as well. So this is a domain that has no end and has a promising career. So watch this video fully to completely understand clinical programming and why it is in such a demand. Welcome guys, this is Mr. Pharma and this is Pharma Portal. Pharma you need to know, share and grow. So what is a clinical trial and why it is required? As per World Health Organization, clinical trials are a type of research that studies new tests and treatments and evaluates their effects on human health outcomes. Clinical trials on humans occur in the final stages after successful drug development and after showing promising safe results on animals. So why should a clinical trial be conducted? Clinical trials should be conducted to evaluate one or more treatment interventions, to assess ways to prevent disease or condition, to evaluate one or more diagnosis interventions and examine identification methods for recognizing a condition or risk factors and explore supportive care procedures to improve the comfort and quality of life. So let us now see the phases of clinical trials so that we understand clinical programming much better. So there are four phases of clinical trials, phase 1, phase 2, phase 3 and phase 4. The phase 0 trial is an exploratory phase that helps to provide clinical information for a new drug at an earlier phase. What is a clinical SAS programming? A clinical trial is conducted in various centers and huge amount of data is created which can be challenging to capture structured data. Once the data is received and cleaned, a clinical examination report should be written for submitting to administrative authorities for product approval. A biostatistical tool is utilized to maintain, create tables, listings and graphs for clinical study reports etc. The tool that is commonly used is Statistical Analysis System Tool which is shortly called as SAS. SAS is widely used in clinical trial data analysis in pharmaceutical, biotech, clinical research organization and plays an important role in determining the clinical study. The expert who implement the analysis method on the collected data and provide the study summary tables, data listing and graphs to the statistician, medical writers and clinicians to use in writing the clinical study reports are called as the clinical, statistical or SAS programmers. Why are they called as programmers? They are called as programmers because they write code for a creating structure of data such as graphs, listing and tables. A clinical or statistical or SAS programmers play a vital role in clinical trial data analysis and collaborate with statistician and clinical data manager. They mainly work with clinical data management team who will collect data from different clinical trial sites or projects and ensure all the data is collected, managed, reported and is accurate and locked in the database. The clinical program Programmers work on securely clean the data and do the analysis on clinical data and generate reports like graphs, listing and tables. These reports are further submitted to the health authorities. In short, they are the main connection between the raw data and the analysis of the reports. What are the roles of a clinical SAS programmer? A clinical programmer builds SAS dataset from clinical database and develops SAS macros, templates, etc. They utilize STTM guidelines to build datasets. They implement analysis specified in the protocol. They ensure the CRF meets the guidelines and they prepare study management report using SAS and validate the programmed analysis datasets, table listing figures. And they perform analysis defined in the statistical analysis and prepare clinical and statistical summary reports. They utilize SAS programming skills within the protocol team and perform all programming required for clinical trial analysis and reporting. They establish a monitoring of data transfers for ongoing trials to identify the study conducted or on the data quality issues. So what is the eligibility for becoming a clinical programmer? BPharm, MPharm and PharmD candidates are highly preferred. MBBS, BDS, PHMS, BAMS are also included. All life science graduates, BSc, MSc, Biotechnology, Microbiology, 
zoology bioinformatics are also considered graduates in statistics and maths are also mainly preferred be or btech biotechnology bioinformatics computer science are considered the expectations of a sas programmer has to be having a sas certification or statistical knowledge good analytical skills and mainly programming skills let us now talk about the important topic salary for clinical programmer as per the recent pay scale an average fresher who is clinical programmer gets a pay range between 3.75 lakhs to 5.3 lakhs depending on the company location skills etc the national average salary for a clinical programmer in sas is around 4 lakh 95 thousand per year in india a clinical sas programmer having cdasc expertise would have extensive opportunities depending on how fast you can learn and pick up new skills will increase your salary package accordingly and people who are having around 3 years of experience in sas programming earn around 8 lakhs in this field let us now see the major recruiters of clinical programming job opportunities are abundant in top it or service based companies pharmaceuticals and cro's companies like novartis eli lilly paraxel iqia icon ppd cineos tcs accenture quanticate cognizant and cital Here are some common questions that are related with SAS programming. You can pause the video here and have a look at it. If you are from pharma education background, it would be a great opportunity to make your career in the IT industry by learning SAS technical part or SAS programming. Non-pharma people before going to SAS programming, I would suggest first learn the clinical domain knowledge which is very important as it deals with patients and drug research data and it is very important for you to learn it in and out of the clinical domain. Once you have the idea on the clinical domain you can start learning sas programming and try to implement over clinical data i always believe in self learning and would suggest you to do the same but actually certification is required in many of the organization so i prefer you to join in a good sas institute and get certified i hope this gives you a clear picture on sas programming thank you hope you like this video encourage us by hitting the like button if you have any question post it in the comments and share this video to your friends and family most importantly subscribe and press the bell icon for regular notifications from our pharma portal channel bye